Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today's going to be another episode on the ITB E30. Just a few things to kind of report on it. Um, I was able to take it for a drive. I was running the Mega Squirt, trying to update the tune as I went with that. Uh, but then I started to have some issues, so I brought it back home. And now I'm just going to go over a few of the, not mistakes, but a few of the problems that I'm now facing with the car. So in here, I was actually really glad I came back to the house when I did. Because um, upon further inspection, I was noticing kind of two oil leaks from two different areas, which was a little troubling because I really didn't do too much to the car. Um, but the, the first area that we'll see was kind of this evap tube from the crankcase up to the middle pair of throttle bodies. It normally goes up into it normally goes up into the intake manifold, but for this one, it's the middle pair of the thr the throttle bodies. I noticed this leak because uh, where the distribution block is, it just had a little bit of what looked like oil condensation on it. So it wasn't like it wasn't like a huge leak, uh, but there was a little bit of moisture in there. It seems like the tube might not necessarily be inserting all the way up into the throttle bodies. So I can show here uh, with I can just like lightly tap the tube, and it, it seems like it's pulling down a little bit and giving me a vacuum leak at that point. Uh, and then any any oil coming through any blow by that this old engine might have would be coming out of the tube. I don't know if any is coming out of the bottom, but definitely an area of concern. Uh, the other oil leak is coming out of this oil filter housing. Now this is definitely something I didn't touch, so I'm a little concerned that there is oil dripping out of here. Uh, you can see on my garage floor after the car sitting for a week after coming back, uh, I do have a bit of a puddle here. Also, the other kind of main concern that I had after my little drive around the block uh, was the set screws on the throttle bodies had started to back out, so what I need to do is remake sure everything's in sync and all the throttles are positioned the proper way. And I really need to double check that I have the kind of lock nuts really cranked down so that they don't back out. Luckily, I wasn't gone for too long, so it's not like I lost any of the hardware. I still have everything, so I'll be, it'll be easy enough to kind of fix this issue and then move on with it. Just coming in to show where that oil is leaking. So if I am able to reach in here and just touch the bottom, get a little bit showing up. It's not as drippy as it was before. Still a fairly big concern that one of the seals might be leaking. There's a bit more. It's not from my near. It's not from the actual oil filter. It's from the little bit in front of it that I guess runs to the oil cooler. Uh, I've never touched it i haven't done anything with it so hopefully the seals aren't kind of failing on it i've seen that uh on the internet that like some people say that those seals fail hopefully we don't have to worry about it and it was just after sitting and maybe it'll be good from now on who knows so if i pull these up you might be able to see the set screws uh but they kind of have some wiggle when i lift them up so they're definitely loose just going to work on trying to tighten these in this first set is actually pretty tight already. So I like where that one sits. It was really, these two were pretty loose. So I wasn't too far off from losing this one, just a couple threads that were holding it on. It's a hard spot for my hands to reach in. kind of readjusted all of the throttles to get this stop screw on the middle pair I found it easier to take out the pair the stop screw for the pair closer to the firewall just to give you a little bit more room to tighten it down uh, but actually what happened is I snapped it um, but after looking at it I never had this one resting against anything um, so it was only ever really in far enough just to be set uh, which is probably why I 
snapped it, trying to tighten it down. So I'm not entirely sure the, the function and what it's supposed to touch and how much it's supposed to push out. A lot of the adjustments that I do on that middle set is based off of that uh, like heim joint arm that goes up. I can kind of use that to set the middle set a little bit better than I was with this stop screw. Um, but I have the two outer pairs definitely match. The middle pair is always a little bit lower. Uh, so that's one thing to work on. After just running it for you know 15 minutes or so in the garage and revving it a few times, I'm not picking up any more moisture out of the EVAP tube or out of the oil cooler area. So I don't know if that was something that was starting to leak at like a higher, higher pressure or like higher RPMs as I was driving around. When I was doing that, I don't really think I went above four or 5,000 RPMs just as the tune was getting used to it. Uh, but it's something to keep my eyes on. I plan to drive it around a little bit more just to see if I've solved any of these issues and keep an eye on if any of these bolts uh, will back out. I made sure to really go through and double check them all and make sure that they are tight, uh, as seen by the one that I snapped. So just a little bit more work. Once the oil leaks are kind of taken care of and I don't have any moisture, especially coming out of that EVAP tube, I do plan to put the uh, plenum on with the backing plate in the plenum and then plumb up that last idle control valve uh, line that right now I just have capped. I don't know if that'll affect anything when I get to that point as well, but the plenum should be coming on soon. I just didn't want to put it on and then have to still work through that oil leak and you know have to constantly take it on and off to, to figure out my issues. But the engine's definitely looking a little bit better and it's running a lot smoother now. So I'm looking forward to taking it out on the streets again.